And welcome to another episode of Start Talk. I'm your host, Sarah Emery, and I'm happy to be joined once again by our CEO of Start.ca, Peter Rock. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. So today's show is all about answering some of the most popular questions about Start TV. Now, I'm happy to say, for the first time in Start Talk history, though, we have one question that's not going to be asked, and that's when is Start TV coming? Yes. <laughs> How was launch? Uh, it was good. It was good. It was um, uh, a long and bumpy road, as everyone knows. And uh, but you know we've got a couple bruises to show for it. But overall, uh, everyone made it through, and and we're pretty happy with what happened. So the team's happy with how uh, how they've managed everything, and we're just thrilled that it's out and with the public now. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. So first of all, for those who may not know, why? Do I need to have Start Internet to have Start TV? Uh, so that's that's a, a regulation that um, in order to have a TV broadcasting, what's called a BDU or Broadcast Distribution Undertaking, um, you need to be able to deliver the TV product on what's called a closed network. And for that, we need to be able to deliver it over our internet service. Um, so it's a regulation that, that we need to follow. So it's not something that, you know, it's, we're not trying to, you know, upsell or something like that. Um, but it is a requirement from regulation. It's something that might change in the future. I know there's been some discussion about it, but uh, at the time being, um, that's a requirement. Good to know. Now, if I have Start T I start Internet, how do I sign up for Start TV? Uh, so right now, the uh, best way is to give us a call, and we can walk you through the packages, uh, answer any questions that you might have about the product. Um, you can also email in, of course. We have a great team here to take care of that. Uh, and in a pretty short period of time, we'll have our, our website updated. Uh, we are hoping to have it uh, ready for launch um, to be able to take a look at um, basically a completely new shopping cart that we're building into the system, and, and uh, we're really, really close on that, and so I'll expect mm -hmm. to see that soon. I think... It's always nice to talk to someone, though, and answer all your questions right then and there. So we'll be happy. Either way, you'll yeah, be able yeah. to do it well, online always, or speak to someone. We always love talking to people, so give us a call. Absolutely. Now, there are, has been a few questions about those who, are, who have Start TV. They want to know, why can't I PVR right now? And, there's, and pause on certain channels. So this, this uh, I'm trying to think of the easy answer, the short answer to this. Um, so basically every, every, uh, network, so the, the different channels and, and stuff, um, they have different rules in terms of where their content can be viewed and whether or not it can be recorded and whether or not some of them have the ability to do a look back or kind of see what was playing earlier. Uh, some of them have different rights for, uh, being able to restart a current show. And so, um, Basically, we kind of need to take all of these different rights and, and make sure that we're adhering to those rights. And so for some channels, uh, they don't give us the ability to, to PVR uh, on a network. And because our platform uh, doesn't require local storage, and there's a ton of benefits that come along with that, such as being able to record on one device and view it on another mm -hmm. um, and be able to see your content without it being locally stored on your, on your set-top box, um, it does change the regulation and rights a little bit. And so it's something, again, that we're working on and working with a lot of different uh, networks. And, and we've been very successful over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we were able to add those rights to about 60, uh, 60 additional channels. So we'll keep working on them and trying to get them caught up into kind of the new technology, new speeds. And mm -hmm. um, so, you know, keep looking for more uh, additional rights over time as well. Right. And those rights and regulations would also apply to why some of the stations are available in the set-top box and not on a mobile platform, exactly. right? Exactly. Again, it's, it's, they, they have kind of a set of rules around what kind of device can you watch it on, can it be watched in the home, can it be watched you know, outside of the home, and all those different rights um, we're making sure that we're adhering to. And that's important to note as well, Start TV. It's brand new. We've got it launched, and it, we're continuing to upgrade it as, as we can. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's always a, it's a continual project. Yeah, we're happy with the, the product, um, but there's a lot of stuff that's coming down the line too. So it really is going to be an evolution. Um, you know, we're adding uh, video on demand is going to be coming soon, as well as um, we're working on a couple of things on uh, faster frame rates for sports and stuff like that. So uh, the product is continuing to evolve and keeps getting better. Awesome. Now, if I do have some feedback from my experience with Start TV so far, how do I submit that currently? 
best way is to go through our service team. Our service team is there to, to help out, um, but also to listen to people's uh, suggestions and feedback. So give us a call, send our support team an email. Um, you know, we take all that information and review it and uh, work with uh, the platform to, you know, try to, uh, try to do what we can to yeah, continually develop it. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And what's the big focus for developing Start TV? Where are you mentioned a little bit, but what's the next big uh, adventure with Start TV? Uh, so, yeah, I mentioned a couple. So video on demand and some faster frame rates. We're looking at adding a couple of different channels that um, we weren't able to secure the rights for in time mm -hmm. uh, for launch. So uh, there's a couple of new stations that people were looking for that are not there. So we'll be adding a lot more of those. Um, we're going to be adding uh, a lot of the ethnic channels as well that we're missing from the initial launch. Um, but uh, video demand, I think, is probably the big one. And uh, TV Anywhere will be another uh, piece that we're looking at adding. Excellent. Well, I think you've definitely given us a lot to uh, to think about and look forward to with Start TV. And imp most importantly, because it's continually to evolve, make sure to keep tuned in to Start Talk. I'm sure in our next Star Start Talk episode, Pete will have lots more to share with the exciting updates that are coming through with Start.ca and Start TV. Congrats on the launch again. Thank you. And thanks for watching. <laughs>